So now we're looking at ocular muscle palpation. Uh, we're going to be feeling the muscles around the eye. We're looking primarily to see the superior oblique, that's the easiest one to get a hold of. And it's, it's interesting, basically if you take your hand, put it on your head, your elbow become, is the sling for the superior oblique. So this would be the nose, and this is the action turning downward, turning inward of the superior oblique, which is the trochlear nerve. Um, uh, the other nerves and muscles that we're going to be testing, so we're going to be feeling the medial rectus, lateral rectus. So we start by actually feeling, and we're going to be looking for the superior oblique first, and it is basically feeling up into the bridge of the nose. And so when we, um, and this is something you can do to yourself, or you can feel, uh, we do this primarily lying down, but the idea is, is that we're going to go right up and feel right next to the eyeball and then go into the skull. So we're, we're, we're going up in that direction. You can actually feel the sling on some people. You can feel the muscle. If it's painful, we know there's a problem, okay? This shouldn't be painful if everything is normal. What this means is when we have muscle trigger points, there are a lot of things that can have happened. You can have cranial suture tension, you can have clenching and a cervical issue that's creating some of these trigger points. You can have um, from post-concussive to a whiplash injury where the brain gets sloshed around, pulling on the cranial nerves underneath the base of the brain. When that happens along these paths, these, these nerves can get entrapped. That entrapment is like a freeway in California where a couple lanes are blocked. Everything's fine when you're looking forward, but as soon as the muscles have to work either obliquely or in convergence, so the convergence testing will give us an indication that this test is going to be positive. Those muscles are requiring more nerve input, and so if there's a blockage, what's going to happen is you're not going to get as much signal and the, and the, and the eyes are not going to work well together, creating more tension. Okay, So we're trying to figure out what type of injury what type of problem because depending on what we find determines what treatment, what direction we're going to go.